Hi guys, Dr. Linda Kramer. Thank you so much for watching. Okay, I've received an email from somebody who wants to talk about orbs. Okay, so here's some of the questions that I got in their email. Look, I've written a list. Okay, so here we go. What are orbs? Odd, shining, floating orbs that can be whitish or blue. Are they projecting future in events into your mind what are these orbs are they human souls are they a collection of souls are they advanced spiritual computers they seem to come in different colors do the colors mean anything special all right if you've been watching my videos you know i've got four books out there in most of my books, I talk about orbs, okay? In my ghost book, I actually have a whole um, chapter to orbs, what they are, okay? And I also have a whole chapter relating to orbs, which is in this book, Five Years in Heaven, okay? Now, I openly say, if you do want my books, please email me. And I'm happy to send them over to you as a gift, okay? I've got four books. My email is below in the description. All right, so let's go through these questions. Odd shining floating orbs. Well, that's right. That's what orbs do. For anyone who doesn't know what an orb looks like, it's generally a circular object that moves around inside our house. They can be intelligent and they can also be dust particles. And I'm going to go there today because 99.9999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999
and it straight away does this weird angle or it stops when all the others are still going, you know that's the one, okay? And hopefully you grab it. And if you do get that on footage, please share it so I see it because I love seeing real ghost orbs, okay? In my ghost book, I do have a photo in there of a ghost orb, okay? So you can go read about that if you want to. Okay, so odd shining floating orbs. We know they're orbs that are intelligent, okay? Whitish blue. Well, I'll go into that one in a moment. Project future events into your mind. So what is an orb? Who can be an orb? Your great-grandmother who has passed away, she could be an orb in spirit or in ghostly apparition form, right? Then we've also got animals, plants and everything else that's alive. Think about how many different races and species we have on this planet. As soon as we mention dog, look how many breeds of dog there are. Then you go into plant life. Look how many different mushrooms there are. Look how many trees there are. Look how many fish in the ocean there are. So if they, we have all those millions of different variants here, how many millions, trillions, gazillions of different ones are out there where, pardon me, in other dimensions that we don't see, okay? So we've got to justify or work out, analyze, whether they are negative or positive entities, okay? If you ever do feel scared, ask yourself, am I being scared? because of what's here or because of what it's doing. Because most times it's our ego that gets involved and then we don't want it around because we're scared, okay? So you've got to take your ego out of the equation and just say, right, now that I'm looking at it objectively, is this something that's truly making me scared, okay? Am I getting hit by it? Is it causing me a headache? Am I getting heart murmurs or heart fluctuations? Am I feeling like I'm going to be sick when it's around? All those things let us know that it may not be something nice, okay? Generally, orbs, when they come in, you'll feel a hot or a cold spot, which is thermal dynamics that I do talk about in my ghost book, okay? Because it's a, a way of them manifesting as an orb. Okay, so what are these orbs? They can be anything out there. Out there. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Could be anything. All right. Human soul? Possibly. Are they a collection of souls? Well, let me just show you this picture again. Here we've got eight orby things. Two, four, six, eight, yeah. They could be all one soul, but they could, could they all be one soul manifesting as eight blobs? Blob, probably. Blobs, orbs, whatever you want to call them. Probably. I don't know because I didn't talk to them. And that's why I love what I do because I always want your opinion. So comment below what you think orbs are. I personally believe that they could be a multitude of a lot of things. Okay. Advanced spiritual computers. Wow. Are they like the matrix type thing? Who knows what's out there? Okay. I've only had a glimmer of a look. It's like going down to the beach. Do I see whales, sharks, all those hidden sea creatures, all the hidden um, wrecks of the ships that have crashed in the ocean? I don't see any of that because I only see the top of the water, okay? So I only had a glimmer when I died and went to heaven. Um, I've forgotten one here. They could um, projecting future events into your mind. Well, to me, that is actually what's called premonition. And I talk about premonition in my psychic book. So if you do want a copy of my psychic book, all you got to do is email me, the link's below, and just say, can I get a copy of your psychic book? I've got heaven, 
ghosts, psychics, spirit guides. It could be a spirit guide because look at the pterodactyl I had in my backyard. He turned into this blue orb and he shot across my backyard. So spirit guides and angels can also be orbs, right? Now, they seem to come into different colours. Do the colours mean anything special? Well, I see auras and I know each individual aura colour has its own meaning. So do orbs do the same? I'm only assuming here that yes is the answer, okay? So I went over to Bunnings, which is our big hardware shop here in Australia, and I went up to the paint section and I got all their different colour swatches. So when people contact me and say, oh, can you please tell me what my aura colour is? I can actually show them their auras. So here's this little selection of all my aura colours. Okay, so I say, oh yeah, your colour is, I'll just go there with one, fall gold, which is this gold one here. Okay, I don't read auras anymore for people. Okay, I've had to stop it. And if you've been watching my videos, you'll know why I no longer tell people what their auras are. So their colours do mean something. So here we've got purple. So if you ever do see a purple or um, orb, go on to Google. All you've got to do is put in there, what does purple mean spiritually? Okay? Or what does a purple aura mean? Okay, if you see red, what does a red orb mean? What does a red or red colour mean spiritually? Okay, that's all different ways of finding it out. Okay, so I'm not giving any definitive answers today. I want you to think about it. What do you think orbs are? Comment below, okay, what you think they are. And on that, I'm going to catch you all later and hope you all have a great day. Thanks for listening. Bye.